This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I try to every year cover the MTV Video Music Awards because so many people watch it and it's filled with so much symbolism. I didn't actually watch it this year, but I saw some of the clips that MTV posted on their YouTube channel because I didn't even know it was on, to be honest with you. And there is the same symbolism we always see there, but there's so much other stuff going on that people need to know about and why this location was chosen and what the theme of this year's VMAs really was because there's always a satanic theme behind these events. And then you always see the same satanic puppets rolled out like Nicki Minaj, Ariana Grande, the same people, right, with the agenda of, you know, God is a woman, which Ariana Grande just came out with. So I want to give my review, wink, wink, of exactly what was going on here at the VMAs. But what's important to note is that year after year, the VMAs are usually done in New York City. Again, this year it was done in New York. Most of the time, it's done at somewhere like Radio City Music Hall or a venue like that. What was very interesting to me is that they actually decided to do the VMAs in 2018 at the Oculus. Now, some of you might say, well, what is the Oculus? And what is an Oculus, right? Well, this is good, right? And I've covered the Oculus before outside of the World Trade Center, or the now the One World Trade Center, which is nothing but a memorial, wink, wink, or I should just say a ritual ground where rituals performed. That now stands as a uh, mem- uh, you know a memoriam or memoriam for the people lost, which is filled with nothing but satanic stuff, such as cube symbolism and the Oculus. The Oculus, which of course Oculus means eye, right? You go to you know the Oculus, your eyeball. But it must be a coincidence, right, that they would name it the Oculus right outside of this place where boy these events occurred. But what's even more unbelievable is that the Oculus is actually in the shape of the Phoenix rising. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, the Phoenix rising, it's a symbol you always see, the Phoenix rising out of the ashes. This is a symbol that the elite always use. These Illuminati puppets always use in music videos. And even Nicki Minaj used it on stage tonight in her performance, dressed up in gold with the wings and the rising of the Phoenix, which represents the rising of the Antichrist out of the ashes, the rising of Lucifer. Okay. And that is the theme for the 2018 VMAs. And that is why they chose to do this at the Oculus. Must be a coincidence though, right? You know, it stands for eyeball, knowing the all seeing eye that is right outside the world trade center, the one world trade center, they call it now one world. And of course they push, Trump propaganda and all this other nonsense that they always push. F the wall and stuff like that. People wearing shirts. You got people wearing shirts that says, we're all humans pushing this equality movement, which people can't wrap their heads around because they hear that and they go, yes, we all are equal. Uh, Their shirts say, we're all humans. Okay, I mean, well, the reality is a lot of these people actually aren't humans because they're demonically possessed. But did anyone say that some of these people weren't human? Does that mean that everything is right? That just because they're humans, we have to accept and tolerate everything someone does? Because a transgender person comes out, decides, a, you know, a man decides he's going to wear a dress or dress his young boy up as a woman, that just because they're human, we have to tolerate it? This is how they mix words and confuse people. We're all humans. Yeah, no bleep. What a surprise. Didn't know that. Oh, does that mean I have to accept and tolerate everything? Well, in the New World Order, that's what they want you to do. So let's get into some of the symbolism. We'll start with Amber Rose. Amber Rose is just, no. I have no idea what this person's famous for. I know of her. I've seen her with Kanye West and things like that in the past and videos that I've done. You might, want to, you might say that she's dressed up as Lucifer or as the devil with the red and everything, but she's got her rabbit mask on there. We've seen Ariana Grande where I just covered rabbit ears and the whole point of this is is just mk ultra that's what this represents this is another one of their slaves their servants you'll see somebody else during the show during Nicki minaj's performance with the rabbit ears on okay it's not because they have dozens of rabbits at their home and they think they're cute and they're cuddly they didn't wake up and go i'm going to the award show tonight what should i wear should i wear a dress You know, anybody have any suggestions? Why don't you wear lingerie with rabbit ears? Because, you know, huh? They wear it for a reason. These people always show who they're working for. 
Their handlers want them to wear stuff like this. So she's wearing the rabbit ears. I mean, just absolutely revolting. Hard to look at. I apologize for anyone I'm forcing people to see that image. Like I said earlier, you have Nicki Minaj performing a ritual. You can see it's a phoenix rising. You have the unicorn symbolism. Everything's gold. Remember how they are obsessed with gold in ancient Egypt. The rituals I've covered, but Marina Abramovich has done in regards to gold leafing. Okay, so she's performing this ritual inside the Oculus. Then you have Ariana Grande singing God is a Woman, which for the thousandth time is not true. God is not a woman. But she's singing God is a woman. And what's behind her the entire time? Masonic pillars, right? There they are. There's our Masonic pillars that we always see in Freemasonry. There's got to be something there because if they're not going to overdo us with black and white checkered floors, then they're going to give us the pillars. So you have the Masonic pillars right behind her as she performs this absolutely atrocious song. I'm sure people in the audience, their ears might have bled for a few minutes. What's important to note as well, which I cover in these these uh, music events that usually occur, is that the whole event is nothing but a ritual, and that's why they do it inside of this gigantic circle. The stage itself is a circle, and they perform inside of the circle. That's because when they perform black magic in these rituals, they do it inside of a circle. All right, that's why you see you know any any pictures from any crime scene that involves Satanists. You always see a circle with the pentagram inside. Or a circle with, with uh, you know five candles at least lined up to make a pentagram. These events are nothing but rituals. That's what they are. So they always have to do it inside of a circle. And if the stage isn't in the shape of a circle, then the performing artists, they'll do a song like Adele or somebody else standing inside of a circle deliberately because these are rituals. Music is spell casting. It's mind control and spell casting on the masses. They have everybody under a massive spell. And these events are nothing more than that. And that's why we always see the same symbolism at all these events every single time. You'll see J-Lo performing. Of course, you can see in the backdrop, there's pyramids, gold pyramids on top. Travis Scott, who I covered recently, Stop Playing God or something along those lines is his song, which is just, you know, the video is just nothing but blasphemy. You can see in the background next to him, the peace sign. Again, which is another satanic symbol. It does not mean peace. It's a mockery. It's supposed to be the cross upside down with Jesus' arms hanging. That is what the symbol means when they are indoctrinated into these covens, into these cults. Part of their ritual is to take a wheel and break the arms down to denounce Jesus Christ. That is what the symbol stands for. Some guy on stage didn't just put the jacket on and go, I'm going to wear this because I care for world peace. Uh, No, that's not how it works. These symbols are always there for a reason. And you can even see Travis Scott in some of the imagery here where he's standing in front of a pyramid with the capstone missing as if he is the capstone, right? And he has this song about people playing God or stop playing God, right? And of course, the eye on top of the capstone is the eye of Lucifer. So it's the same filth and the same garbage that we always see, right? We see always this nod to Freemasonry. That's why we see the pillars. We see agendas push, political agendas, keeping people trapped in the left-right paradigm, right? Oh, F Trump, F the wall. We're all humans, which is the acceptance movement, which is really all about the Antichrist, right? MTV loves pushing this love, love, love stuff. They have the young youth out there under their thumb buying into this stuff, right? That we're supposed to tolerate and accept everything. You know, if a four-year-old decides he wants to wear a dress and he's a boy, we're supposed to say it's great and let the parents do what they want because their mindset is do without will. So you have all that type of nonsense, But to me, the biggest thing is the theme here is the Phoenix Rise, right? That's what the theme is. You see the wings all the time. It ends with Aerosmith and Dream On. Of course, Aerosmith has the wings as well and their logo playing in the background or on the screen behind them. Dream On. Well, I'll tell you what they're dreaming on about. This new world order that has been formed and continues to form. You know, they didn't just pull Aerosmith out of nowhere to perform because who even knows where they've been and say, hey, let's close with Aerosmith and this other Satanist Uh, something Malone, Post Malone, or whatever his name is, right? That's because this is a ritual. These events are nothing but rituals. And the theme, like I said, is the Phoenix Rising. That's why they chose to do this at the Oculus. Not a coincidence, right? Right outside the World Trade Center and the, the destruction of the towers, how they even formed this thing there, called it the Oculus, which means, you know, which is eyeball, eye, right? So you have your eye symbolism and the phoenix rising. The shape of the oculus is in the shape of the phoenix rising out of the ashes. You can't make this stuff up. 
They're doing it right in front of our faces and they're getting away with it. And they're always getting away with it because people don't care. They don't care. And they think stuff like this is a joke. They hear this, they go, you're just stretching. Oh, you're just making up. Oh, yeah? Why don't you look into it for yourself? Oh, and they just chose the Oculus to do this because, you know, they said, hey, that would be a nice venue to do it at this year, even though it's not built for, you know, to be a concert hall or anything like that. Sure, let's do that. Right outside the World Trade Center as the theme is paying homage to the Phoenix Rising. It's unbelievable. It really is. And they still get away with this stuff, and it's right in front of our faces. So I just wanted to cover the, the VMAs 2018 for everybody out there. You didn't miss anything. Obviously, I just watched the uh, the songs and the music clips online. My ears are still bleeding, so I'm going to have to go clean them. But uh, just another embarrassing display. But again, paying homage to the Antichrist, that's what these people do, and they continue to get away with it, right? And you always have your Freemasonry symbolism there with the pillars and all the other stuff I pointed out. So it is, you know, it's, it's just the same stuff year in and year out. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.